Hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies for goodies. So you guys, I haven't filmed in like three days and I feel refreshed and renewed and I'm just chilling watching shows, you know, but okay, you guys, Essence released this Lash Princess Eyeliner. It comes in three shades, but you know I had to get the brown. Okay, hold on. My lips are so dry. Hold on. Hold the phone. So you guys know brown eyeliners are really hard to come by, especially when it's drugstore. They're usually too dark. They're usually like a black brown or they can look a little bit gray. So let's see how this goes. And I love the mascara. I think it's a great mascara, but... We have an eyeliner. You guys know how much I love a good eyeliner. How do you open this? Oh, it's just like this. And this is a felt tip liner. This brown looks very warm. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Let's shake her up. Oh, okay, pigment. Okay, quickly, it reminds me of the Fenty Fly Liner. Yeah, oh my God, do we have a dupe? Do we have a dupe? Okay, so it oxidizes, you see? That's a good thing, that's a good thing, okay. So I just put a little bit of bronzer on my lid so we can see what's happening. I also want to do an eyeliner tutorial for anyone who struggles with eyeliner and has like a lot of creases because I have a lot of creases. What I like to do is look straight ahead. Like you're going to look this way and you're going to start, you're going to put the pressure on your cheek here. As you're looking, you're going to create a line. Hold on, I guess I should look this way. You're going to create a line here in the middle. It's pigmented and it's gliding nicely right so you're gonna see where your eyes crease so i have a big crease right here so what i'm gonna do is create a, another line at the top of my eyelid okay you see oh this is light it's like very light and then as i'm looking again straight ahead i'm gonna go over this one crease and create a line This way, when you look straight ahead, you can see the eyeliner as opposed to if you're looking down, you know, it doesn't look as straight. So let's... Right, and it looks a little thick, which is fine, but you see how we look up straight? You, it kind of hides it because of that fold. So now I'm going to sharpen up this line. And then look down and I'm an inch along here it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be though I'm gonna get some micellar water in this brush and like clean this up So I don't know. I don't know. It's really long. Hold on. I need to shorten this. You can shorten it by just kind of inching along like this. And the tail, you saw how it got a little bit shorter. Now it's not as sharp. So what you could do is just go back in and kind of sharpen it up. Yo, know, I don't know how to feel about it though. So what I'm going to do is add this eye and then give you all the info about the eyeliner. The new Essence Lash Princess Liner Pen is vegan and cruelty free. I have the shade Brown. It retails for $5. It also comes in black and waterproof black. The chubby pin is easy to handle and the cone shaped felt tip is easy to use and can create versatile looks. Use the skinny felt tip to create thin lines for a natural look or use the thick side for a bold dramatic liner. It is long lasting and smudge proof. It's vegan and cruelty free. Okay, so it, uh, the struggle is real on this eye. Like, I don't really like it. And I think this is just kind of too short to really like, I don't know, it's not comfortable to use. I don't like the shade. It kind of is going into the gray side, you see? But it looks smooth. This eye looks good. This eye, we're gonna have to work on her. 
But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But let me just finish up the face and maybe, you know, there's a different feeling. But it is currently, oh, it is 10 a.m. You guys know we're going to do an all day wear test. So I'll be back. All right, fam, I'm back full face and everything. And you guys, this eyeliner, I'm just not convinced because the shade, you see how it looks? It's like this gray, brown, I don't know. It's matte, so that's nice. I was able to fix it, but it's not pigmented. You guys saw, I was kind of on the struggle bus, struggling to apply it on, and I kind of tried to reapply it. As I was doing my makeup, and you see it's like, we don't get any pigment, any additional pigment. Usually when you double up on eyeliner or just go over it, the pigment kind of stacks up and you see it. But here, this is just a very natural looking eyeliner and I don't even think this would show up on more skin tone. It's very lackluster -y. It's giving me a very muted blah shade. Like we need more ump, you know? It's definitely not like the Fenty eyeliner. Like initially when I first swatched it all like wait but then no uh, we see here it's been what like an hour you know so yeah anyway we're gonna do an all-day wear test just to see how it works out maybe it gets better maybe it oxidizes a little bit i don't know but yeah this is it okay bye all right fam in front of the window i want to show you the eyeliner it looks better in daylight it definitely looks smooth but i don't know something about it i just don't like it doesn't look like I have eyeliner on. It It's not giving me that intensity that eyeliner should. Although it's brown, brown is more subtle. But I don't know. I don't know. What you think? The color does look a little better in daylight. I will say that. But other than that, mm. Okay, ciao. Hello, familia. I'm back. You guys, it is 8 o'clock. I've had that eyeliner on all day long. I wasn't able to get footage earlier today because I just completely ran out of time. But you know what? I'm kind of surprised. It is fading, though. You see, like, it doesn't look like, I don't know, it doesn't look the same. It looks a little lighter. It's a very natural, natural eyeliner. It works more if you have fair skin because you can see it a little bit better because it's not that pigmented and it just really doesn't kind of get on the skin. I don't like it. It faded a lot more actually than I anticipated. You see, it's kind of like gone. I don't like it. I think it was really hard to work with. It's fading. You could barely see it. It's great if you want a very natural eyeliner that's super soft and subtle. This is perfect for you. For me, I feel like I don't have anything on unless you're really close or I'm in daylight where it's like, oh, and because it's so light, it kind of looks like an eyeshadow liner. I mean, you can just get any brown eyeshadow and do it yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, this brown shade is not good. It's not pigmented. It's just not my cup of tea. But again, if you like something subtle, if you are looking for an eyeliner that works very, very well and has a great shade of brown, the Fenty Fly Liner is amazing because just look at this. And the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner as well. They both have a great shade of brown. They're pigmented. They last all day. And it gives you that subtle liner. You can actually see it, you know, as opposed to this little thing over here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is it. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have you seen it around? And by the way, thank you so much to all of you guys who tagged me to review this. Here we are. Let me know your thoughts. I think this is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!